got a very pleasant Divide Albatross here from 1977. Acquired from a lady in the Netherlands who had it from her parents who'd had it, if not from new, from a very long time. And I've just noticed twin mosquito doors, rather lovely. I should say this tent does not have front zips. It doesn't have the zip on bits. It's got the meter built in front canopy, but it doesn't have the, the wings and zipped bits. Original curtains, everything looked after nicely. Remarkable condition. Um, as I say, these double mosquito doors, only the second tent we've ever had with that. And then inside the vents at the back. Two, almost no marks on this tent, it's unbelievable. A few sap spots, you can see them clearly here. They show up with the sun as little bright spots. That's tree sap and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, about 10 or 12 of these spots. They don't let water in. In fact, probably quite the opposite. Um, but otherwise really, it smells good in here. The ground sheets, shiny and clean, everything. Fantastic, love these double screen door. You could have that, you could sleep at night on a hot night with that, those front doors up like that. You have lots of air in here and no bugs. In fact, if it was me, I wouldn't even have the interior curtains and I'd have one. We normally camp with a big open plan tent and then you get the maximum fresh air moving around in there. Obviously the normal front doors here then would all zip up with the windows and the mesh above all in perfect condition. And then this lovely clean few spots but very little on here. Two or three bits of bird poo down there. I haven't even tried removing anything in this tent. And then those little sap spots again, you can see there. But otherwise, all around here, I've been a good boy. I've put all the pegs in this time. Do justice to this amazing tent that's 45 years old. A bit of blossom on there. A few creases, but I've left it out overnight, so a lot of the creases have disappeared now. I usually get them straight back in the bag, because it got a bit late and somebody poured me a beer, so the tent stayed up. There we are, so uh, really, and the, and the poles on this, I haven't put the yellow diagonals in, but looking at these, I've colour coded them all, but all these fittings here are good. These are the early type fittings and all, everything's tight. Normally these swing around a bit and move all this stuff. It's really absolutely splendid example of a 45 year old Divard Albatross in absolutely beautiful condition. I'll stop now. Thank you for watching.